Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Live and tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about Soki and our immune system and how our immune system can stay healthy during the holiday system. So I'm going to switch over to a PowerPoint. So give me a minute. I don't know if it's cold where you are, but up here in the Midwest, we had a cold snap for the week. So since it's the holidays and Thanksgiving and Christmas are around the corner, I thought I'd talk a little bit about how we can keep our immune system healthy with the kids and everything back at school. So where's my little remote? Okay, I lost my remote, couldn't remember where I set it down. So the information I'm presenting for educational purposes, and I'm not here to treat or cure or prevent any diseases. If you have a medical condition, it's best to talk to your doctor. My name's Mara. I am a herbalist, aromatherapist, holistic health coach, and an independent distributor for, for um, HTE. So what is our immune system? Well, it's not exactly a single system. Its uh, major function is to determine what does and does not belong in our body. And its job is to remove what doesn't. So to accomplish this, it actually has to work with several other body systems. And the most common are the digestive, lymphatic, and circulatory system. Our immune system actually has um, two major parts to protect us, our skin and mucous membrane and the parts that function at our cellular level. And those are known as the innate and adaptive immune system. So the innate um, system is our body's first line of defense. It's usually triggered by our skin and our mucous membranes, and it consists of the inflammatory response we're all familiar with, where it goes and gets the white blood cells, macrophage, neutrophils, and natural killer cells. And its main job is to keep the infection from getting into our body. If the infection gets into the body, then the adaptive immune system usually kicks in because the innate immune system can't manage it. And that's where you find the two kinds of white blood cells, B cells, and T cells, along with the antibodies that um, our bodies have created over the years from being previously sick or from vaccines, which um, work with our thymus and everything to produce these antibodies. And it's all these antibodies that our body develops that identify and tag specific cells for destruction. And the adaptive immune system, they say, is mostly found in our blood and our lymph. So that kind of explains how the immune system interacts with our blood and lymph, but we also have our digestive system, which is really huge for our immune system. And we, when we look at our digestive system and our gut health, we're looking at the three to 500 different kinds of bacteria, along with viruses and fungi, that they refer to as our microbiota or our microbiome. And even though we have bacteria or microbiome or microbiota that live all throughout our body, the ones with the most impact on our health and the ones that interact the most with other systems are the ones in our digestive system, our intestines and our colon. So when you think about the body and our trillions and trillions of cells, we are actually 90% microbiome and 10% human cells. So that's a lot of microbiome in our body, much more than our cells. You also have to understand that our microbiome is unique to us. So um, kind of similar to a fingerprint, although I'm not sure how much a fingerprint is anymore with the latest technology, but it's unique to us and it's obtained from our mothers and from our environment, which includes our diet and our lifestyle. So we can impact and um, change and create different microbiome in our body by our lifestyle and our habits. Our gut, or this community of microbiome, communicates with the rest of our body through the gut walls. And with so much more microbiotic biota in our gut than human cells, our body needed to develop a mutually beneficial relationship system known as symbiosis. So, 
remember that our gut influences many systems in our body and immune being one of them but our metabolism cardiovascular system nervous system hormones all sorts of things that microbiome interacts with so symbiosis is basically just a term that they use um, it describes the principle of how everything in our body lives together and works at helping each other out and it's this close relationship that the microbiome develops from inside the gut to outside of the gut and our immune system which begins at birth and then develops throughout our life so both of these systems together take care of our health and defend us so they're dependent upon each other so um, the health of our gut shapes our immune system and our immune system shapes the health of our gut or the microbiome so if we have a healthy microbiome it's going to shape healthy immune cells and signaling and vice versa so this interaction and this relationship occurs with the microbiome to several systems in the body but it's really important to understand that your gut health and your immune health are influenced um, drastically by the gut health so 70 percent of our immune system is actually dependent upon the health of our microbiome so what can we do this holiday season to keep our immune system healthy well we definitely want to support a healthy cardiovascular or circulatory system we want to support our lymphatic system and make sure that it's moving because it doesn't have a pump over on its own we have to keep it moving and keep it healthy and we want to support a healthy immune system with good nutrition and possibly supplements and we want to maintain a healthy gut microbiome so how are we going to do that well the chi machine motion energy moves the body in a figure eight motion from your ankles to your head creating movement in the body and when we give the body movement in a passive aerobic way we're promoting circulation we're promoting the movement of the lymphatic system which can help with fluid and water retention so when we keep things moving in the body we keep them from becoming stagnant if we have our blood and our circulation moving we're supporting a healthy immune system the rhythmic motion of the chi machine also relaxes us which helps us uh, with stress and promotes deep breathing because when we're relaxed we tend to breathe deeper and then we take in more oxygen which travels throughout the body it also gives us more energy um, and it helps bring balance to our nervous system it also can help sometimes with our spine if we're really uptight or tense and we relax all the vertebrae and muscles in the back can relax helping um, the spine to realign itself <clears throat> and that rhythmic motion also helps exercise our internal organs and give them a little massage and then the chi machine and the movement of it it's passive aerobic exercise <clears throat> may actually help in uh, weight loss so the chi machine is great at supporting the immune system the circulatory system and the lymphatic system and then we have beta low which is an immune system support supplement um, it's very unique it's been um, tested and researched and there's a lot of data out on beta 1 3d glucan and aloe vera and we're all familiar with aloe vera it's you know known as a very cooling soothing anti-inflammatory herb and um, beta 1 3d glucan um, with all its studies has shown a broad range of immune system action making it one of the best immune modulators on the market so when we say modulator it's going to work with your immune system and um, it's not going to force your immune system to do something but if your immune system decides to do something it's going to help it out so the part of the immune system it kind of activates and works with is our frontline defenders which would be our innate immune system the other thing that's really good about beta low is it's very non-specific so it can um, be effective and act on a variety of attackers so it's a really great supplement 
And um, if you can take something to support your immune system, if you're not uh, sick or something, or it's not in your best interest to take something to keep your immune system modulated, um, then you probably wouldn't want to take this. But for everyone else, it's a great um, nutritional support for immune system because like I said, beta-1, 3-D glucan has been widely studied and it does show a broad range of immune system action. So beta low is a great product. And then Go Green, because Go Green is, um, promotes a healthy microbiome, okay? Our microbiome loves plants, fiber, and fermented foods. That's what feeds it. That's what feeds the good guy in our gut. Processed foods, sugars, those things, those feed the bad guys. And we need a certain amount of bad guys. They exist in there, you know, but we don't want them taking over. And that's why I love Go Green because it's um, a super healthy green drink. It's a balanced blend of organic vegetables, leafy greens, grasses, sprouts, mushrooms. It contains lots of plant-based enzymes, friendly probiotics antioxidants, it contains some traditional Chinese herbs, and lots of sea trace minerals. So it's a super green drink. Um, I drink it every day. I personally think I've tried a lot of green drinks on the market. I personally think this is the best tasting green drink. So if you taste this and you don't like this, you might as well just stop trying green drinks because this is probably one of the best tasting ones on the market. Leafy greens, which are plants, um, give us lots of vitamins A, C, K, and folate. They promote healthy aging in the body. They're very um, great for our heart and our circulatory system. They help us protect against toxins. They actually build up our defense in the body because all our cells and microbiome are happy and they're ready to do their job. They promote healthy skin and bones. And they're packed full of phytochemicals and phytonutrients. And phytochemicals are biologically active com compounds that are found in all plants. And they offer lots of protective health benefits um, beyond those known by the individual vitamin and mineral content of the plant. Um, they offer anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits, which promote overall good health, helping the body fight against free radicals, which are things that have gone astray in the body. And free radicals occur through our metabolic process, as well as through exposure to x-rays, ozones, pollutant, and chemicals. So we're always going to have a certain amount of free radicals going through the body. We just want to make sure that we're feeding our microbiome good food so everybody can interact and be um, happy. Good food and greens help balance the pH in our body because an imbalanced pH can lead to health concerns. So if you're too acidic or too alkaline, both of those situations could present problems in the body. Very different types of problems, but still could create an imbalance in the body. If you tend to be too acidic, things tend to move too quickly. And if you tend to be too alkaline, things seem to move too slowly. So again, you know, going with traditional Chinese medicine, yin and yang, we need to keep balance within the body, balance with the microbiota and the microbiome with all the systems in the body. So I want everybody to stay healthy this winter. So if you're going to stay healthy, you have to support your immune system, your digestive system, your lymphatic system, and your circulatory system. So use your chi machine daily because that's going to keep you moving. It's going to force you to take 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes a day to relax, to breathe deep, to move your body in a way that doesn't create additional stress. You can support your system with beta low. So if you feel like a cold or something's coming on, you can um, take some beta low. You can give your body go green for super nutrition. Make sure you stay packed full of antioxidants, phytonutrients, and chemicals. Drink water 
Eat healthy whole foods, like I said, our microbiome loves plants, fiber, and fermentation. Manage your stress, if you get in a stressful situation, deep breathe. And say no to sugary sweets. I know this time of year, everywhere you go, somebody's got out a candy dish, you go to a function, there's all these pies and cakes and cookies. Say no, because sugar isn't plants, fiber, or fermentation. So sugar is going to feed the bad bacteria. And to stay healthy, you need to feed the good bacteria. Now, I'm not saying that this holiday season you can't have a piece of pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving, but just really watch those sweets and processed foods as you go through the holiday. So I hope this is going to help you stay healthy this winter, and I hope it's going to help you utilize the power of some of the Soki products in maintaining our overall health. I also want to tell you that there's a Chi Machine flash sale going on through the 17th for $4.25 with free shipping. I also want you to like, follow, and share this Facebook Live. And if you're watching, don't forget to put your name and distributor number in the comments because if you do that, you're going to be entered into a drawing with Eddie for a free fur pad. So thanks for joining me on this Facebook Live. I wish each and every one of you a happy holiday season and have a wonderful, happy, and very filling Thanksgiving. Thank you.